Hi and welcome to The Winning Factor. I'm Alan Aitken and on this show each week I take a look at some upcoming races in Hong Kong and try to isolate an aspect of the race that uh, might end up deciding the outcome. Well, the Sunday racing at Sha Tin and the first of our races is race three where our winning factor is the map. Now this class five looks to have a, a few chances to it which is uh, what normally happens in class five races. So Awesome gets a drop in grade. Little player had excuses last time. Soccer Master comes in as a last start course and distance winner. Universal Crown, he should welcome a rise in distance. And horses like Scenic Sweetie, Even Keel and Kwai Chung Elite will all have some fans. But two of the major chances here look to be So Awesome, who has yet to win a race, but he's placed eight of his 19 starts in class four and a little player who we didn't see the best of last start but he also showed up well in class four before dropping in grade. Now quite possibly so awesome will be the uh, uh, popular pick here, uh, Joe Moreira's ride and uh, I could show you his first up run this season, uh, his first run since a change of stables but it was down the straight, he was out the back, he suffered some interference and never really got into the video so I thought instead we'd show you his uh, barrier trial since that day. And this goes back to October the 5th, uh, batch 13 on that day. And from a wider gate in uh, brown and cream stripes, we see So Awesome jump well. And he drifts back into uh, midfield for Marrera. Uh, Joao revs him up, rounding the home turn. And he puts himself into the picture, uh, picking up nicely between the 400 and the 100 metres, then he lets him make his own time over the final stages down to the line, finishing third behind the Class 2 horse, Winning Dreamer. Now likewise, uh, you wouldn't learn an awful lot if I showed you the last start of Little Player. That was two weeks ago, and he finished 11th there, but he did have a minor vet issue uh, during the race, so uh, I think we can overlook that one. And I'm going to go back to his previous start. This was in Class 4. Now this is race 57 for the season and in blue and white colours, little player. Uh, he sits a little further back here than expected uh, after getting a minor bump out of the gates. But that isn't a problem because the Golden Bolt up front sets a good pace in front as you can see on the heat map. It's uneventful in running for little player but he gets into his work down the straight finding the line quite well to be beaten only a length and a half. So both of these horses shape up with good prospects on Sunday. And I think that uh, the area where we can start to separate them, though, is on the map, because this looks a race that is going to suit horses on the speed. When we look at the map, uh, we have potential leaders, uh, Scenic Sweetie drawn lower and Incredible drawn in the outside. But I don't see an awful lot of other pace. And uh, so awesome, well, he often lets himself down with uh, slow beginnings. And even if he jumps, we saw in his trial, he isn't uh, all that quick. And that also applies to Even Keel, Soccer Master and Universal Crown. Meanwhile, I expect Little Player, without getting a bump at the start this time, will be more forward than his main rivals, trailing the leaders with a trouble-free run. So the tip in race three, Little Player. His winning factor, the map. Just ignore his last start when he had mucus in his trachea uh, after the event and go on his previous solid form and I think he gets the right run in the race here or well, some of his key rivals are going to be disadvantaged. The second race I want to take a look at is race eight and our winning factor here, fitness. And this is a very decent class three with uh, some talented horses but I do think that punters are going to distill the race down to just a few serious chances. The last start winner, Nam Jong Sings, the unbeaten Frankie Law runner, Master Eight, and the horse that Master Eight uh, beat in his most recent appearance, the Golden Scenery. Now the horse here with the best recent run is Nam Jong Sing. So let's take a look at that. And this is a win in race 44 this season and in uh, red and dark blue colours. He jumps okay, but there is a little bit of pace under him. And Alexi Bedell elects to steady the horse early past midfield where he travels well in what was a fairly modest pace. Now, with that modest pace, we're going to see four of the first five in running. 
finish two, three, four, five across the line. But the exception there is Nam Jong Sings, who is able to overcome his uh, pace disadvantage, gets home the strongest in the sprint down the straight, and wins well, if not by any fancy margin. So, although the margin wasn't big there, a better effort than it might suggest. But I'm sure that uh, the major focus in this race is going to be on Master 8. He bolted up last season in his Class 4 debut, then ascended to Class 3. And let's have a look how that went for him as a 1.2 favourite. And this is race 754 of last season in dark blue colours. At Master 8 jumps well. The heat map shows us that the early speed is slow and the gelding just wants to go a little bit quicker early and uh, Joe Moreira sums up whether a quadruple double on his inside wants to lead him or not, decides that he doesn't and then lets Master 8 slide through to the lead to dictate the running and really there wasn't a lot to worry about from there if you took the short odds. Now the golden scenery, he's in red and blue colours behind the leader and arrival again on Sunday. He comes off Master 8's back after the leader kicks away and he closes quite well in the sprint for home but Master 8 never really looked all that threatened. Now the way that I've approached this race, so I was interested in the fact that uh, we have probably three clear chances here. Two of them have had uh, recent racing while Master 8, he's going to be the centre of attention and he has not had a race this season. And uh, already this year, uh, this season, we've seen uh, very highly rated horses like uh, Sky Darcy, uh, Courier Wonder, uh, Killer B, and also Fantastic Treasure, uh, beaten at very short odds, uh, resuming for their new campaign after not racing for 98 days or more. And now we're being asked to take short odds on Sunday about Master 8, who hasn't had a run for 141 days. So I thought I'd take a little detour into the stats here and see how that holds up. Now, first of all, uh, we have a table here of uh, all Hong Kong runners since September 2011, except those horses who had raced overseas and having their first run in Hong Kong. And I found the results to be surprisingly clear and, in a way, a little bit surprising. Uh, how much a horse's readiness after a break is baked into the market is, I guess, uh, some sort of a query. But this table suggests that, if anything, the benefit of recent racing is overestimated by the market. As you can see here, the estimated uh, wins of uh, hard-fit horses with a recent race falling short of what they actually won. Now, if we take a different look at that and uh, we include only short price favourites, that's uh, 3.0 or shorter, we get uh, smaller numbers, so the uh, trends are not quite as smooth and clear cut. But the picture does change. Now, the ones with recent racing here outperform the market expectation, although it has to be said, it's still not a terrible picture for the horses coming off a break. Perhaps that's because quality trials and track work for these uh, higher profile runners might be baked into the market to a greater extent. Uh, but it's still an interesting change when you're looking at favourites. But when we look at those uh, two studies side by side, I think it certainly does suggest that when it comes to taking short odds, we should demand the extra layer of protection of uh, a horse that has had recent racing. So let's take a look at the map for this event and uh, whether Master 8 gets the front and gets to dictate here the same way as we saw in that video, well, that's an open question. Uh, he led in slow tempos both those first two wins but has an habitual leader here in Team Spirit who will be keen to get the front and Goodview Clarico is also quick enough to be a player for the lead if he wants to be. Nam Jong Sings, well, we saw him get back last time he may be a little closer this time from a better draw, but he looks to follow the speed horses again. So the tip in race eight, Nam Jong Sings. His winning factor, fitness. Now certainly Master Eight is the worthy favourite here. He's unbeaten in two runs. Uh, but when we uh, looked at those figures on horses resuming, it certainly suggested that uh, when you're taking short odds, you might want to prefer horses with recent form, he doesn't qualify under that. Nam Jong Sings is fit, in form, and did a very good job to win against the tempo last time, and he'll do us. Well, that's it from the winning factor for this week. Enjoy your racing Sunday. We'll see you next time.